So we have the blueprint. I'm Michael, brand designer. Footwear designer. Annalise Cleopatra, colors and materials designer. So George, when you're designing, do you often look at the environment or do you care about the environment any when you design? Yeah, absolutely. Um, everything from sustainable approach and thoughts uh, for the product itself, all the way through to designing product for environments. Right. Hmm. Interesting. Let's get into our concept. <laughs> so, humans play an important role in nature, right? Well, everything plays an important role in nature. Humans too. So, if you think about sustainability, the only true sustainability, if you're looking at a model, it would be the Earth, right? That's a sustainable place. So then if you look at innovation, we as human beings, we need that to push forward in life, to become better, to you know, impact our lives. We need medicine, we need other things. So then uh, if you look at sneakers, right? I mean, they fly, you know, we need them, but they also help us in our transition to the future. So it's 2022. We in the future. We see you coming off an Emmy when you know, playing your new character, you know, Blink X Men. Yeah, uh, you know, so you're going for a run, and then your agent calls you like, "Hey, I got this new movie role for you." And you're like, "Oh, I'm interested." So he's like, "Yeah, I want you to play this character that you know, focuses on balance and you know, yeah. life, love. What else? Support, Support right?" <laughs> so we were like, "Man." How could we create a shoe that matched these things, right? Facts. Facts. <laughs> so we researched, and one word came up, biomimicry. We're like, well, what, what is biomimicry? We don't know what that is. It's actually how you solve problems through using the patterns of nature. So it was like, oh, man, patterns of nature. Where are we going with this? Oh, OK, OK. Let's do more research. So we ended up in Africa. I don't know how. <laughs> and we found out about this African clawed frog. Now, it's a frog. I know you're like, frogs? What does it have to do with anything? <laughs> so this frog is interesting because it can't hear. So it uses the sensories on its belly to determine how much space is between different items, or rocks, dirt, other amphibious creatures. So we was like, man, what if we could like, apply that to a shoe? And maybe people could be more aware of their balance Maybe the space. What else you guys, what else you guys think? Like a six cents. Like a six cents, like right? Be crazy. So now we had to come up with a really cool name. You know, something interesting. So how about A3? Sounds dope, right? Yeah, A3, cool. Mm -hmm. A3, yeah, sounds tight. <laughs> so we got the name A3 from digging deep into ourselves. I know we're not top athletes or anything, but you know, OK, maybe you. Um, <laughs> so, the A3 is basically short for ACTN3, which is found in elite performance of certain high-level runners. So we said, oh man, maybe we could take that to inspiration when designing a shoe. But before I go into the shoe, I'm going to pass it to Nestor. He knows a lot more than me, so Nestor, take it over. <laughs> So talking about future crop that is spent 17 years develop this, right? Uh, one of the most uh, innovative footwear and optimal movement, cushioning, and balance in one component. That's crazy. And going to take the athlete to the next level. Based on what Michael said about inspiration, um, the African Claw frog. Uh, I'm trying to pronounce it correctly. Um, that was good. Yeah. Oh, oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> and um, I watch how the movement, the shape, uh, also the sensor on the belly that uh, bring balance and also the spatial awareness. And the next one is magnets. Look at magnets. I was like, hmm. What, what interesting about it. But actually, uh, it's helped the humans improve the movements. And also, when it go deeper, that actually help blood flow, energy, 
and also balance. Mm -hmm. And look at that, I'm not a runner, so I look at like how the athlete that tried to recover the injury, so they basically typed up. So based on that, I look up and sketch. Before I sketch, I imagine myself in the future, not just the shoe. Put myself in the future, I go extremely high. We even joke about that, like maybe we make a pants for the shoe. Entire connection. And wow. So going that, based on that, and I actually taped up on the, shoe, the, the foot of the human body, because I don't run, I don't know what, where the flex and also the angle. It's actually extremely interesting that it's asymmetrical. So I didn't know that. I thought it was like, oh, it's symmetrical. So based on restriction, and we just, next to the pullover, I was extremely happy with this shoe. Like, it's dope, it's fashion, because I'm into fashion, right? Mm -hmm. So like, mm, and then I put on the human body, like I try, and at least try them on, and actually restriction. The area of the flex, that is no functionality. We put a lot of material right there. So after the next one, um, the last one, that actually, this shoe is like, we get less and less, but less is more. Um, so we get a lot of uh, inspiration from that. Through this, we come up with the, um, the ankle cut out that help the ankle support, and also silicon 3D printed uh, in the Achilles that support Achilles, and uh, the magnet that go around from the lateral to the, the medial that um, on the artery, area that help the blood flow and balance. But however, the strap's still bothering me that I go extremely like, I get rid of the strap. That gonna be extremely well made and innovative. I'm gonna pass back to Annalise. She should talk more about material. Thank you, Nestor. Hello, George. Hello, Dwayne. Hello, Hello, Jamie. So talking about the colors, we love the spearmint of the 4D sole. It's fast, it's fresh, it's crisp. So to complement that, we have a foggy charcoal and a midnight black that's just gonna make sure that outsole really pops and allows it to be the hero that it is. So we're five years in the future. We need a material that is going to help with compression, but be engineered strategically so that it is correcting your running form and allowing you to have proper balance and really take your level of senses to the next level. We've also got magnets to improve your blood flow and 3D printed silicone in the heel, which we have a model of right here. Let's talk more about this Extegra fabric. It's an auxetic knit. So if you think about a Chinese finger trap, as you pull away, it gets stronger as opposed to other fabrics that get thinner and weaker. It's currently being used in the military for blast curtains and also using its nanotechnology capabilities. So in five years, we see this being a consumer fabric that we can use to target specific muscles and areas to really tailor your running form to what's best for you and your body. Next, the magnets can really enhance your physiology. It, pulls the, it uses the iron in your blood to increase blood flow when you place it over major arteries. It can pull out toxins from those red blood cells so that the white blood cells can get rid of them. And it also, you, combined with our compression fabric, after a run, you can use it for recovery. So the material will actually pulse and get your blood flowing, which reduces recovery time. And lastly, the 3D printed silicone. So our shoe kind of takes barefoot running to an optimum level. But a common problem with barefoot running is still Achilles tendonitis. So to strengthen that and have some support, we've created this 3D printed silicone, and it can just fit right there on the back. And now I'll pack back, pass back to our brand manager. So we care about the earth a lot. We care about things being recycled, things being used over again, and sustainability. In the future, you know, to use all this technology, we need a place to live to use it all. So 
to compliment runners all over, we decided to create a recyclable running lane strictly for runners using recyclable shoes and a rear print. A shock absorbent, it's good for the feet. Um, it, it separates runners from other obstacles, bikers, cars, strictly for runners. Um, so, you know, for us, we took a different approach. You know, we decided to go with the earth, and I hope you guys liked our presentation. <laughs>